everybody! Today I'm going to make some meat dish, tonkatsu, Korean pork cutlet, crunch pork, served with gravy and rice, steamy rice. We usually serve with kimchi or some pickles. This recipe, it came from Japan, uh, but Japan, their version of European shinichi. So when I was in middle school, that was my favorite food. We just only sold that Western style restaurant in Korea with my friends. I like to look cool. And then because we are going to use fork and knife. Ah, oh, this is kind of Western style restaurant. In Korean, we always use the spoon and chopstick. But we go to that restaurant and then we just large plate and then just using like a knife and fork. There is a, like a really nice restaurant in New York near my house. This is number one, always filled with tourists. And I see a lot of Japanese also came and so delicious. But when they serve this, this is a kind of a different presentation. They put a lot of gravy between pork and uh, rice. So pork is always until you finish eating, it's crunchy. And then the rice is like hot, you know, with like a volcano sauce, really delicious. So today, my recipe, this is, I just bring from here and there and best. I want to share the most delicious tonkatsu so far I developed the recipe, isn't it? <laughs> Do you agree? So delicious food doesn't matter from where it come from, right? If this is delicious, that's all that matter. So let's start. I'm going to use one pound of pork today, serve four people. The thread. When you make donkas, lean cuts of pork you can use. Don't cut it all through. So bottom and then So we can have like this large, larger size. Kind of a, a little thick this, but we are going to flatten this soon. It's like a butterfly cut, right? If you freeze this, more easily you can cut it. One pound, just less than one ounce. So this is one pound of pork and I slice this. If we have a meat tenderizer, kind of easy, but I don't have a tenderizer. I can tenderize it easily with the back of my knife. Some part is thin, some part is kind of thick. Thick part more. And then let's just make that desirable shape. Easy. Next. Cooking is fun, isn't it? Some kind of muscle. Remove this while you are flattening. So even though it's a pounding sound, it's really like a noisy, isn't it? Uh, but your family will not be bothered by this really loud sound. They know they are going to get some donkas soon. I like thin meat instead of a big chunk. Uh, because more crunchy, you know, everybody knows I love crunchy things. <laughs> Let's put some salt and pepper. And then this is one third cup all-purpose flour. We are going to coat this with flour and then egg and breadcrumbs. So now, flour. This is uh, eggs. We are going to uh, coat these guys in eggs and pankaru. Pankaru is breadcrumbs in Korean pankaru. Around one cup. I'm going to put it here. See, two eggs. Just 
Just a little salt. Egg first. So that it's wet, moist. And then we can coat a lot of breadcrumbs. Press down so that all last of the breadcrumb we we gotta coat this. So make it crunchy. So we need one more cup. So we need one more egg. So total three eggs and two cups of breadcrumbs we are using. Salt. I'll pop into the refrigerator. Wash and clean and cooking at the same time, and then it's not going to be messy. Usually, Koreans serve this pork cutlet with cabbage salad. You can also just cut it using your knife. Like this. Like a thin slice. When I serve this, it should be really cold, so I will keep it in the refrigerator too. Then, we got to make a sauce for cabbage salad. Mayonnaise about a half a cup. Lemon's kind of tanginess is going to be really make it sweet and sour. Later, I will add some honey. Lemon, squeezed lemon. This one is a little bit of ketchup. That's it. Honey or sugar. Color is a little pinkish color, isn't it? Pretty. A taste. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. Everything is delicious. I'm hungry now. Okay, this guy also keep in the refrigerator. Ta-da! This is highlights sauce. It's a gravy we are going to make. So I'm going to post this on my website in the ingredient section. You can check out. I'm going to make a delicious gravy using this. You'll be so surprised. This is my own invention. <laughs> Let's turn it on. Stove. This is unsalted butter, two tablespoons. Mixture of butter and highlight powder, nicely like butter infused. Then add some water. This powder has some starch inside, so it's going to be, when it's boiled, it's going to be thickened. For flavor, I will add some ketchup. My ketchup, look at that huge. I will use just a little bit ketchup here, quarter cup. And then stir occasionally until it thickens. This is our gravy. 
You see the bubbles? Like this. It looks delicious, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to turn off and later reheat. My rice is done, gravy is done, and we are going to fry. And also salad is inside in the refrigerator. And then just heat it up. Let's fry donkas. The bottom is very crunchy, and then let's turn it over. This. Can you hear that sound? Really crunchy. Two times I turn it over until really crunchy both sides. It takes maybe 12 to 13 minutes. Like it just depends on like how much oil you have. This is three cups of corn oil I use, 11 inch pan. So you can. You can use like a larger one and you can even the two pieces so at the same time you can fry this. So if you use more oil, and then I'm using this way so until I really, really crunchy, <laughs> I have to fry this. And then sauce is reheated right now. Let's get ready to eat. Fresh made rice. Really hot rice. Let's remove from heat. This excess oil, just remove this way. Look at that. This gravy is so tasty. There you go. So a knife. Crunchy, savory, juicy, all deliciousness is inside. Look at this rice, all oh, lots of gravy. Mm. Mm. The salad is like a sweet, sour, tangy, cold, like ice. Especially, I love this rice with the gravy. Today we made pork cutlet, Korean tonkatsu. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.